guys welcome back to this course so in the previous video we have successfully uh, get our all products on the front end you can see that here and now let's handle um, the loader if I reload it you will see that it takes two seconds to load so rather than displaying here loading I want to display the proper loader of CSS all right so I have set that here time but for two seconds just to show you the loading all right so let's get our loader component if I go to the uh, components in the layout uh, in the layout I'm going to create one new file here that is called loader.js so RACFE to create my basic snippet for our function and we just have to um, let's we just have to type here the class name so class name that is equal to the loader simply save it and that's it uh, if you go to my app.css file and the search here loader so this is the all css for the loader you can see that here so it is set to 360 degree all right so these three are for loader all right just css now if i simply close it go back go to the home let's import our loader so import the loader from slash layout slash the loader and instead of displaying this loading h1 i put here my loader okay so loader put in here now if i go back to my here now you can see that we have a proper a loader here like this one all right and this really looks good instead of loading uh, text all right so now we are also done with our loader component we are adding here loader now make sure that you add here ternary operator uh, if else in simple words that if, if it is loading then you have to display the loader else we have to display our current uh, products all right I hope that you understand so that's it for this video this is a very short video i hope that you understand in my next video i will basically add the react alert because i also want to display if there is some possible error in this one i also have to display the proper error all right so i will see you in the next video okay so welcome back to this course so now in this video i want to set up my react alert because if there's some possible error i have to display them on the ui basically okay so what did i simply go to my uh, let me close this one, this one, this one, and let's go to the um, uh, index.js. And here we first of all have to bring in the so import, we have to bring in the positions, positions, then the transitions. And then also you have to bring in the provider as error provider or as you type here alert provider from the react alert we have already installed this package react alert okay so you have to bring in the positions the transitions provider as alert provider and let's also bring in the the alert template from react alert template basic all right and also set up here the options so const options equal to first of all let's set up the timeout remove the message so I type here 500 milliseconds that after 5 seconds I have to uh, basically disable the message all right then we have to define the position of the message so the position is going to be positions dot uh, let's put it here bottom center you can definitely change the position if you want and then also I type here transition so transition is going to be 
transitions dot scale okay i want to scale it when i when it when it comes out uh, from the bottom all right so we have to bring in these things we have set up the options all right and now let's wrap it here so as we type here the alert provider the alert provider we have to pass in the template oh that is template that is equal to the alert template then we also have to pass in the option for example spread here in the options okay and then let's close it here that is alert provider so we save it and that's it and now if i go to my products controller oh sorry in the home.js in the error i can simply type here that if there is some error then and before that i have to bring in here i simply import the um use alert from the react alert all right okay so we have to bring in the use alert then we have to use it so i simply type here cons alert equals to the use alert like this and then i can simply put in here alert dot error and i simply pass in here the error message all right there is also error or success if you want to display the success message and also i have to pass in here the error that whenever the value of error changes i have to i have to call this use effect and it will display the error so now let's go to let's go to the product controller to generate some error so if i simply remove it from here we don't need it right now we save it and now let's put in here that return next with new error handler that will say my error and let's put in here like 400 so press that simply save it and now um let's also put in here the alert as dependency here so we save it and now if we go back okay so we're getting a hover error again and again i go back simply close this tab go here so what i can do here is i can simply cut it from here and put that right here and simply type here return that is with some error you have to simply return from here with this alert so we save it okay so now if i go back let's go to the for 3000 and now you will see here my error all right i can also put in here the success so alert dot success let's put in here this success we save it now if i go back you will see here success and then my error all right so this is success sign this is error sign all right so now if i simply remove it from here save it go back to products controller and let's remove this error so we save it now if i go back and reload it now you will see here get my error products back all right good so now that successfully also added the uh, errors in our UI. I hope that you understand. And also make sure that you add uh, this provider around your app component, pass in the template and the options. Now you can also modify the options if you want. You can go to the documentation of React Alert on GitHub or on npm, and you can change these options according to your requirements. I have just uh, keep it simple. Let's provide a timeout, position, and a transition effect. All right. So that's it for this video. In my next video, I will basically when I click on it, I have to display all the, the details of this project. Alright. So I will handle that stuff in my next video.